In today's video, I want to reach out to all the women who are contemplating going on a dating site app. I want to tell you what you should post and I want to tell you what you most definitely don't want to post. Now, for all the ones who are not on the dating site app, yeah, you're contemplating. Should I get on here? Uh, it's below me. No, it's not. What's below you is not getting on there. What's below you is thinking that you're going to walk into a restaurant. You're going to walk into a bar you're gonna walk into a grocery store and the man of your dreams is gonna fall in your lap that's simply not the case none of us want to be on the dating site apps but fortunately they are a good source of meeting people you're gonna meet people that you wish my god I never met him but you're also gonna meet people that you're gonna say you know what this was the best move of my life and also the women who are already on these sites we need to talk. There's a lot of you that got this all wrong. So between the women who are thinking about getting on these sites and the women who are on these sites, let's roll into this video. everybody and welcome to my channel if this is your first time here my name is Frank Bernardo now normally my channel is geared for all guys who want to up their game look and feel better about themselves in grooming fitness fashion and lifestyle but today I want to reach out to the women because sometimes it's nice to get an opinion of a guy out there, a regular guy who is actively on the dating sites, all right? And I see what's going on out there. So I'm actively in this. So I just want to give you my personal opinion on the do's and don'ts, what you should post and what you shouldn't post on these dating site apps. And if you like this content, do me a favor, give the video a like, it's only going to help my channel grow and don't forget to subscribe so yes even you girls don't miss my upcoming videos so obviously the first thing everyone sees when scrolling through the dating apps it's going to be your picture we're going to call it your profile picture now that picture has got to be your absolute best photo bar none don't have your hair in a ponytail if that's not your best look. You know, if you're holding up this big giant garfish, okay, a big fish, that's not gonna work for you. If you got a beer in your hand, that's not gonna work for you. If you got dingy clothes on, that's not gonna work for you. You always gotta remember, what you post is what you're going to attract. Now, as crazy as this may sound, if you are looking for the man of your dreams on this site, go get your photos professionally taken. It does make all the difference in the world, and it'll show your true beauty. Again, absolute, best photo is that profile picture. So congratulations, you got someone to start scrolling down your page. First of all, that's a tremendous feat. It really is. Like for instance, when I'm on the site and I'm, I'm looking at the girls, okay, I know just this quick, just that quick, boom. I look at the picture and I can instantly tell one split second if I like her look or not, okay? That's how important that first picture is because that's obviously gonna get your guy to scroll down and look at more pictures and read what you have to say about yourself. So what are the right pictures to start adding into your profile? Well, I'm gonna tell you what you need to eliminate. You know, for some unknown reason, women love putting pictures up of these sunflowers, fields of sunflowers. I don't care about the freaking sunflowers. The only thing I care about sunflowers is eating them, okay? They're seeds, that's all I care about. I don't wanna see that and men don't wanna see that. You're wasting valuable footage of yourself. Another picture that I do not wanna see are a picture of your dogs. I don't care about your dogs. Again, I wanna see photos of you. I didn't come to the site for your dogs. I came to the site for you. I realize that you're a dog lover. There's a lot of dog lovers out there. 
I'm a dog lover out there. But all of that will take care of itself once you get to meet that person and you start to discuss it. I realize you're throwing that out there to show everybody you got the dogs, but leave the dogs in their cage and show pictures of yourself. And now another picture that you most definitely should not post, just pictures of the city or surrounding areas. Again, these are all pictures that are, are meaningless to the everyday man out there. There. So do yourself a favor, only post pictures of yourself. And if you do want to post pictures of a dog, make sure that you're in that picture with the animal. Um, another photo, no, no, and I like to call this a photo blunder. Um, you never post a group picture as your main picture, you and two of your girlfriends. You know, nine times out of 10, two of the girls are very pretty and there's one that is just like so-so. So when I'm looking at that first picture, it's like, Okay, which girl's actually on this profile? So naturally we scroll down and we figure out who it is. And nine out of 10 times, at least in my viewing, it's always been the so-so girl. I got excited thinking it might be one of these two other women and unfortunately it was the so-so girl. So if you wanna take a group picture, slide that down the register a little bit and a suggestion to you is maybe don't take a picture with people who are more beautiful than you because they're grabbing the attention. That's not what you want. You want to grab the attention. There's a lot of things that I look for and I'm sure a lot of guys do this too. Now, when I'm scrolling through your profile and all your pictures, I'm dissecting them. I'm taking those pictures. I'm blowing it up because there's certain qualities that I want in a woman. Whatever you do, don't fudge your pictures. And I'm talking Photoshop, okay? Don't do that. Because always remember, you're gonna have to meet that guy someday. And if you don't look like that photo, you're instantly gonna be off the charts with him, okay? And it's just gonna turn into a bad date and it's gonna go wrong. You are who you are, post pictures of who you are. So now that we've eliminated all the garbage pictures, I wanna call them, what other kind of photos should you post of yourself? What are men looking for? Well, I'm gonna tell you what I'm looking for. I wanna see a full body shot. Not a nudie, all right? I wanna see a full body shot. I wanna see what your whole body looks like. If I come across a profile and the only pictures of that woman are from here up, there's a reason why. And trust me, I've made the mistake, not once, not twice, but a few times of going with that. And when I walked in and I saw that date, it wasn't what I wanted, okay? And I was too afraid to ask for a full body shot. If you're a woman posting only pictures from here up, I figure you're doing that for a reason. You're hiding something. So be prepared if you only got those type of photos to have a guy ask you, what does the rest of your body look like? Because it's not just from here up that counts. We're looking for the total package and that's, I hope that's not the wrong words for you, but it's, it's reality. If you're a woman and you're looking at a guy in a dating site and all you saw was from the neck up, what are you thinking? Get the point? So post a couple of pictures of full body shots. Actually, I love when girls post pictures of themselves in a bathing suit at the beach. It really gives me a great visual of what that woman looks like. Again, I've got parameters of what I'm looking for in a woman and you've got parameters of what you're looking for in a man. So just because that face is gorgeous and beautiful, it doesn't mean the rest of her is. And I'm not being mean. I'm only trying to tell you, we need to see the entire package, carry on the conversation and see if this can turn into a potential date. Let's talk about the verbiage that you're gonna also post in your site. Now, right after your picture is gonna come the description. What are you looking for? What are your qualities? What do you want in a man? What do you want in a relationship? Okay, blah, blah, blah. And the one that really, really gets me is, you know, not looking for a hookup, not looking for a one night stand. I get that, but 
a lot of the girls out there, they probably would be very lucky to get that hookup or get that one night stand. Uh, again, not to be mean. And another one that really uh, takes me aback is athletic and fit. They describe themselves as athletic and fit. Well, I have a different uh, version of athletic and fit than most of the girls that post on there. Athletic and fit. If you're gonna post that, you better be athletic and fit. A lot of the girls, just because they work out, they show pictures of themselves in their spandex, that doesn't qualify you as being athletic and fit. It says that you're working out maybe one, possibly two days a week for a half hour. Okay, that's not athletic and fit. So stop saying you're athletic and fit. You know, the problem comes in that, you know, we're all used to looking at ourselves daily. We don't see a lot of the changes that are going on in our bodies um, and our look because they're so gradual. And over the years, you're putting on pounds and pounds and pounds. And you're still exercising, but you're still putting on all those LBs. Now, you're still working out, so in your mind, you're still athletic and fit because that's the way you see yourself. But the world, the real world, does not see it that way. Athletic and fit is exactly that. So if you're not athletic and fit, don't put that in your bio. All right, just about ready to wrap up this video, but let's recap everything. So your profile picture, that's your number one pick, all right? That's gonna be your most gorgeous, sexiest photo. Your hair is gonna be flowing, you're gonna have beautiful makeup on, you're gonna have gorgeous teeth and a great big smile. Then we're gonna follow up with all the other pics in your profile. And remember, incorporate full body shots don't hide anything. And maybe you wanna squeeze in a nice photo of yourself by the beach. I think that's, that's sexy and that's what I look for. It shows uh, your lifestyle, it shows that you love the vacation, it shows that you love the beach. That's what I'm looking for. I gotta have a woman that enjoys that. So make sure your verbiage describes you to a T and don't lie. You know, if you put your whole portfolio together, as I'm telling you, you're gonna have great success on these sites. So that does end the video. And did you like it? If you did, I would appreciate a thumbs up. And you know what else I would really, really appreciate? I would appreciate your comments. I wanna hear what a woman has to say about what I said. What are your thoughts? Am I out of line? Do you have different thoughts? Put it on the site, let me see it. Let's all discuss it. I think it's a great thing. My name is Frank Bernardo. Thanks for watching.